Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another mukbang and a horror movie. I'm getting ready to watch Flowers in the Attic and I have a hard boiled egg with a serving of quinoa and a salad. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some yummy food for you guys and I'm watching Flowers in the Attic from 1987. This movie, I used to love watching it many years ago when i was very young i've been watching this movie like for many years and it always always it never gets old really good movie very sad it's not so much horror to me i mean it is scary but it's not so much horror but you know it is what it is but i love it very good movie and it's uh there's also a book i've never read the book but the movie is really good Anyway, as I showed you guys already, I have half a cup of quinoa, um, one hard boiled egg, and I have a baby spinach salad with, I just sprinkled a little bit of balsamic, balsamic vinegar on top and some feta cheese. So I am on my hormone building days. So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I am no longer doing 100% strict keto. I'm adding a little bit more of healthier carbs to my diet to build up uh, my hormones on certain uh, days of the month. Okay, I don't know if tilting the plate is gonna work so great. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. I put one of those beef bouillons while I boiled the quinoa and it tastes so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I love feta cheese. It came out light and fluffy, just how I like it. This truly is such a sad movie, guys. Like, like I said, I find it more sad than scary. That grandmother was horrible. Mm. Wow. I haven't had quinoa in ages. Since like last year. So good. Mm. Wow, you guys. So in case you're wondering what hormone building days are, basically when you hit perimenopause or menopause or premenopause, whatever you want to call it, certain day you can continue doing keto, but you got to tone it, tone it down on the strictness because it could affect your thyroid and your progesterone levels. So in order for certain times of the month for your hormones to be balanced out you have to uh up the carbs a little bit but i of course do it in a healthy way so just because it says up the carbs i'm not going to be sitting here eating pastas and breads and you know potatoes and you know stuff like that so i do healthier carbs like you know a little bit more fruits you know because keto is very restricted so you could only have berries strawberries blueberries blackberries raspberries that's pretty much the only fruit you could eat on keto so, um, so that's what I do now, you know, a little bit more fruits, a little bit more different types of veggies, for example, carrots, which we cannot have on keto. Um, it's a healthier carb. Uh, quinoa is a healthier carb, stuff like that. Tropical fruits. Very, very good for you. And if you want to learn more about it, because everything that I've been learning, learning about hormone building day, 
if you are a woman over 40, you should definitely follow Dr. Mindy Pels. She has a YouTube channel. She's also on Instagram. She uh, teaches a lot about fasting and premenopausal women. Mm. So good, you guys. Yes. I've been wearing my Freddy shirt a lot lately. I love my Freddy shirt. And when I do mukbangs like this, I like to wear my horror shirts. I have my Halloween one and my Chucky one in the washer, so. I take turns with them, but lately I've really been loving this shirt. Everybody, everywhere I go, anybody that sees me wear this shirt, they're always complimenting my Freddy shirt. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. I love quinoa. That beef bouillon gave it a really nice taste. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this movie, seriously, it makes me sad. <laughs> Yummy. I just got a piece of feta cheese in there. So good. Mm -hmm. So you guys, I've been giving you more of what you like. More mukbangs. I know some of you were also saying that you love my vlogs so more of those are coming your way as well veronica and i actually have something planned out for next week so we're gonna be vlogging a lot together i'm doing collabs together This is a lot for half a cup of quinoa cooked because the mixture was actually, you boil two cups of water with one cup of quinoa. So when you cook it, it makes a lot. But the serving on the package is actually half a cup cooked. So that's exactly what I served to myself, half a cup one serving mm. oh that was so good awesome lunch well <laughs> i am all done got a few little crumbs that fell on the table Just stop growling oh my god my dog growls for anything whatsoever like even if she's dreaming she growls <laughs> i'm sure you can hear her in the background lucy what's your problem 
Anyway, you guys. Oh my God. I feel like I have a hair on my <laughs> face. All right, you guys, so I am done with this mukbang and a horror movie. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna get back to watching my movie now. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media and I will see you ghouls and goblins in my very next video, Unpleasant Dreams.